Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, me and Steven are sitting here in Chicago on the floor because we don't have furniture yet. We just got a new apartment. Me and Steven have both, for a while now, been wanting to not only move to a new place, but kind of just go all out for what we want to do. So we just pulled the trigger, and here we are. It's a really random thing, what we're doing, to be honest. I remember a few months ago we got drinks, and we were basically like... If we could do anything right now, what what would we do? He said he really wanted to be a stand-up comedian, and I was like, I mm -hmm. want to be an actor. Which I don't think either of us had ever expressed to each other before. No, it was weird. It was kind of like a hidden dream that neither of us ever talked about. And a super millennial dream at that. Let, let's all move to the big city and be actors. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not a logical choice what we're doing, but basically we both decided that we wanted to try out Second City. For those watching who don't know what that is, it is a improv acting writing school mostly known for the improv yeah it's it's an improv group m most famously mm -hmm. but yeah. they have a whole training center attached yeah. to it which i don't think either of us necessarily want to be in the improv no. group i don't think either of us are actually witty enough to be successful improv people and speak for yourself i'm not I can safely not, say. It's okay. <laughs> I can't be good at everything. No, we're not good at most things. <laughs> Which is why we decided to go into the entertainment business. I couldn't succeed in the, you know, conventional academia, so. And, and anything that helps you in school. <laughs> uh, we, we moved today. Uh, the apartment that we're sitting in right now is 247 square feet. Mm -hmm. And we're sharing it. You know, it's. Here's the thing, though. So it is a small place, but it is a nice place in an amazing area. It's swanky. We are right across the street from Lincoln Park Zoo, which is free admission. <laughs> so we're <laughs> definitely going to go in and name all the animals and befriend them. Except for anteaters, because they can bite it for all I care. Stupid it's animals. Creepy. And most reptiles. Most reptiles, yeah. Mainly we're going for the, the cat family. The penguins. And, oh, the penguins. So, anyway, yeah, we have uh, our, our small apartment. However, I want to point out, you may be aware that we're sitting on the floor. To those who don't know us very well, this is a prime example of who we are. Because we didn't own furniture, we just decided to sleep on air mattresses, which... We Forgot. We forgot we the forgot. <laughs> In our defense, though, we only had two to three weeks yeah. to pack, and things fall through the cracks. Well, keep in like... mind, frankly, that, you know, yeah, as you said, three weeks. David, this, he forgot a pillow. We have one I did. I did pillow. A pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But things are looking up because uh, within a week, we will have mattresses. And we'll be sleeping on a bunk bed. We're independent. Our bunk grandma bars cereal. Well, cinnamon toast crunch. That stuff is ridiculous. <laughs> no. She got the she got the name brand, not like the generic five cents for a ten pound bag stuff. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm not. The, I'm okay I'm not with the queen of England. I'm not gonna. If go you guys want to give me hand cereal, if you guys want to give us hand hand me outs, I'm not gonna like deny them. Very humble by the fact that I'm okay with picking. <laughs> And free stuff. It's we take pride in our lack of pride. <laughs> Panhandling totally within our wheelhouse. <laughs> I know. We live on a busy street. A lot of cross traffic. It's a lot of. So yeah, we have our apartment. Uh, we drove down today. Uh, the car was completely packed. We had great conversation along the way. Hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge, and I'm thinking. Maybe six feet ain't so far down. We talked about what we're hoping to do. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. We talked about uh, strategies for success over here, how we plan to get a job, that type of stuff. <laughs> and there's some other stuff mixed in there 
the jobs. We don't have jobs. We have. Huh? <laughs> it's a it's a new it's a new philosophy on how to go about life. Some may call us idiots, but some may call us brave. Two percent of the world called us brave. There are a hundred people in the world because <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> as, as We're we literally the only ones who call us brave. <laughs> We're not really great at typical academic subjects, which includes <laughs> population <laughs> counting. <laughs> I said 100 people. I thought you, you were making a claim that there was 100 people in the world. I was using an example of exaggerating. Under-exaggerating. Oh. Sorry, did I, did I mess up what you were trying to do? <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I didn't mean to overanalyze. So there's two people, 100 people in the world, 2% being us. We can skip that part if you want, though. I, um, think, we, I think we should keep it in. <laughs> I, I liked it. <laughs> yeah. We don't even have air conditioning, uh, or do we? Uh, we will. We will. Yeah. So, anyway, all that being said, this is kind of the beginning of our journey out here. We figured we'd do a vlog. We figured it'd be fun for friends and family and whoever else to know how we're doing out here. So, hopefully, this will be a... Uh, positive vlog yeah yeah we went here because we had literally nothing going on in our lives <laughs> one thing that me and steven share in common is we use humor to cover up real insecurities it's kind of a special thing that we do it's true I'm like oh i don't like my body blue <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay with it it's yeah fine. it's fine <laughs> i saw somebody on Facebook who created like a GoFundMe account just to go do something that they wanted to like it wasn't raising money for a charity they just wanted money so we decided not to do that because uh, I kind of appreciate the way that previous generations have done things where you actually like work, work for yeah. the things that you want to accomplish hashtag millennial that's how we do. That's how other millennials do it. Yeah. We're like baby boomers, except we don't crash economies. That being said, you can find us on Kickstarter. I don't even know how to work Kickstarter. Give us a few months. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <No>, a month. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Cut.